Hey everybody, it's Drew Sims here and welcome back to my channel. I am back with a new current household. This is the new sim that I have been playing recently off camera. I played her a little bit on Twitch, but primarily off camera and I am absolutely loving her. So I decided to restart my current household series, but with this new sim. Before I jump into the story and like what's kind of going on in her life, um, I do want to quickly apologize if you guys can hear any fan sound in the background of this audio. It is so hot. I just had to turn my fan on. So I apologize if that is annoying but starting off this is emma linda stark and i posted her actually on my community tab when i first made her and one of you guys actually picked out her name i thought it fit so well first of all thank you guys so much for like commenting suggestions for that i thought the suggestions on that post were really really cute but i felt like emma linda just fit her so perfectly so i ran with it i made her determined perfectionist and loyal and she ended up getting two traits you can see a very interesting one here but she ended up getting two traits um through gameplay so she is a vampire she is currently ranked let me see she's currently ranked minor vampire which is i think the second rank and her aspiration is to have a vampire family so she is a very family oriented sim i didn't give her that trait but in my mind she is she also does have the travel and culture hobby she really likes trying new foods even though vampires don't need human food which i was kind of like the amount of needs that vampires have it's honestly too little but anyways i do see her as having a oh it's time for work go to work girl i do see her as having kind of a passion for like trying out new foods and stuff so every time i have her go into the city i have her trying a new recipe things like that she is also a vet that is her job this is one of my custom careers because i didn't really want to spend a lot of time oh my god it's almost winter fast but anyways i didn't want to spend a lot of time on like her job or anything i do have her applying to university because i always have my sims doing that if i can get them into university i just love doing that i think we might have just gotten the results actually so we will see if we can actually have her quit her job and go to university instead this job pays so well like 135 dollars an hour she basically gets a raise every single day it's crazy but i also kind of like the idea of having a vampire that works with pets like at a vet it kind of reminded me of teen wolf except obviously it was like a wolf Wolf that worked with pets in that see she she got a raise again she gets a raise every single day let's go ahead and actually check our mail i placed down a few new vampire sims and just like other sims from the gallery i honestly forgot who exactly i placed but two of the sims i placed in forgotten hall are midnight midnight lives in this house and asmodeus lives in this house over here just to kind of give it a little bit of spice midnight and her are really good friends they are neighbors and everything Thing. midnight actually ended up coming over to stay for a little bit to kind of help her get her bearings i guess they are like together but they're not official or anything he's not technically her boyfriend i'm trying to see if he'll autonomously ask i kind of want that to happen she also ended up meeting lou she did perceive him as attractive and they immediately had like a red relationship because as you guys might know the lore in the sims is that vampires and werewolves have like they have like ancient beef or whatever whatever so they immediately had a really bad relationship but since she found him attractive i was like okay let's play with this a little and now they do have a slight romance um and i can't i don't know i, I want to see where that goes i think a forbidden romance like twilight who you know what i mean oh my god who is this some grandma just showed up oh my god midnight just said i can't believe that you've been drinking people's blood without their permission that's just not right girl we've been doing more than that i will talk you guys through that in a second i just wanted to also say she does have quite a few other not friends but people she's like starting to become friendly with like lilith janae price um just a few people nancy there's some tea with nancy which again i'll get into um selena i think i did place selena down from the gallery just based on the fact that she's missing an outfit too i think i placed her at some point i don't know who this lady is i just invited her in because she was at my door if you're gonna walk into a vampire's house you can't be mad about what's about to happen but i suppose we'll ask for her permission oh she did not like that um well 
I'm gonna compel you then, too bad. Anyways, while that's going on, I also wanted to explain like the state of the kitchen, like the party table and the cauldron and everything because we did have a cute little harvest fest party. It was really, really cute. We just had everybody over and like we had them dancing. We had a little strawberry chocolate fountain. Um, and we made some like turkey and everything. It was great. I really enjoyed it I did need to uh, fill my thirst. So so I'm actually really glad she just knocked on our door Also, she is a guilty drinker That's one of the weaknesses I ended up taking because I feel like it really fits her story and Let me get into that story as you guys probably remember We do have this trait that is from extreme violence I have used extreme violence to do like a cult violence thing where you can essentially kill people as a vampire so the reason we started doing this is and i explained this all on my stream too because i like to have a storyline i don't just like i don't like to just kind of like do stuff randomly that's just not my play style so the first person she killed was actually this person named sai and he was just lying on a bench out outside of the bars she was super drunk and really really hungry and she ended up kind of luring him away from the city and accidentally killing him once she did that she realized that like she kind of had a taste for it but she felt really guilty about it and that's where i felt like taking this weakness made a lot of sense for her story an effort to kind of feel less guilty about it she's kind of resorted to when she has the urge to like drain someone of their blood like that she's going to target people that are like quote unquote bad i guess so like she's only gonna do that to certain sims so she's done it so far to eliza and also to jeffrey landgrab but her real target is actually nancy landgrab that's like her final target and she really feels like she'll be doing some good to the sim world if she rids everybody of nancy like she's literally a criminal you know what i mean like we'll be better off without her <laughs> so what we are doing is we're currently trying to become friends with nancy and like buttering up to her and then we are going to like let that storyline play out that way we also do have a little friend group here i've just called it the travel group jane is our friend from that group and i plan to just kind of like take them on trips together and whatnot because both of them have that travel and culture hobby so i think that'll be really fun now another thing i didn't tell you guys yet and something that she actually doesn't know is that she is pregnant um, which again, she she's gonna be happy about. She's pregnant with Asmodeus's child. I don't know if he's gonna be happy about it, to be honest, because they haven't discussed, but honestly, I think she'll be fine about it. She's technically neutral right now, but she really wants a big vampire family, and I think it might grow into a vampire crime family <laughs> down the line. Okay, we did get our acceptance letter let's go ahead and read it yay we actually got some distinguished degrees guys i might put her in the distinguished villainy degree low-key i feel like she'll want to understand it better since she's trying to take down um nancy langram that actually makes me so happy let's go ahead and enroll oh something i forgot to say i got her into painting on one hand to like help her cope with her feelings of guilt and all that stuff but the other reason is because she basically gifts a painting to every one of her victims it's kind of like her calling card i get a little bit too invested in this stuff i'm not even gonna lie i'm basically playing like a criminal minds situation out right now with the vampire let's go ahead and leave our job because we won't be able to do both. Let's do whatever homework we can just to like get it out of the way. So that is Emma Linda and I'm just gonna have her do a little bit of homework and then we'll probably head out. The vampires in this game don't even really have to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get Lou to come over there. I don't know if he will because he doesn't like us, but we will see if we can get him there. I always really like the Send My Shuno gem too. Okay, it said Lou was sleeping, but I just cheated him here because you don't get to sleep when I am trying to play out a story. See, they still have a pretty bad friendship, but I, I don't know. I just really like the idea of them kind of getting really close. Let's see if we can get their friendship up a little bit. We can command him to to work out or to be mean oh my god guys it's not going that well i think they're they think it's boring we could pretend to bite him no let's not do that i am going to also have her work out while she's here oh god this conversation's not going well <laughs> look at his face oh my god he's actually so bored of us how dare you, Lou? Oh my god, his face when we were hissing is just like... How about we impersonate mermaids? Maybe he doesn't like mermaids. Wait, was that mean? Okay, I'm gonna stop talking to him. 
because they're it's just not going well <laughs> and we'll get a quick little workout in while we're here if you guys have any ideas for where you want to take that storyline let me know oh there you go she is showing now i think i'd never had her take an actual test so it just kind of popped up and she feels pretty good about it she feels let's stop working out actually just in case i don't want to have any complications i know that i have mods in that could create complications so i want to avoid that she is just feeling fine about it because like i said she was neutral how about we come get a cupcake maybe we have a craving right now let's get a red velvet cupcake she looks so cute stop it right now she actually looks adorable her little bump is making me smile so hard vampire sims don't even need to eat anything but she's definitely a foodie even though she doesn't have like the glutton trait or whatever she is most definitely a foodie our friend was down here why don't we come watch her performance i'm kind of loving playing as a vampire because like i never have my sims be night owls like this like i always have my sims go to bed at like a decent time for the most part unless i'm playing like someone with a really bad sleep schedule <laughs> But most of the time my sims have like work in the morning so i'm like okay you guys have to be in bed at a decent time but like with emma linda i'm just kind of like vibing it's six in the morning we haven't even slept at all and we're just chilling oh my god why did they just turn the lights off it got so dark it is also winterfest eve oh my god i love winterfest eve we're most definitely gonna do some baking at home oh i was about to tip let's complain about morning sickness let's just chat with her a bit also i didn't know that vampire sims don't like get cold is she saying to tip i mean we can tip she's not really doing anything but i suppose like we have money it's okay <laughs> oh my god guys i just had a, an amazing idea what if we use the home chef hustle pack and have her make money off of that because she loves like cooking and stuff like that i think that would be so fun okay it is the start of term our first class i think is at 9 30 yeah we have a 9 30 class and then a 1 30 class let's take asmodeus with us because i want to see if we can tell him the news and just like see how he takes it because i actually don't even know what his thoughts are on how having a kid genuinely if he can't tell she's pregnant he's crazy <laughs> like it is so so obvious how about we do it through the romance interaction and see how he takes the news They're so happy from announcing- Okay, so she did get they're so happy from announcing pregnancy. So, okay, but why does she have this? From close sentiment towards someone feeling bad. Who's feeling bad? I'm so confused. Oh my god, also he's a painter. I didn't know. That was through neighborhood stories where he kind of like asked us if he should like pursue his dream job or whatever. So I didn't actually know what his job was now. Oh, he's also a generous sim. So he's like- constantly giving us empathy or whatever it's actually really really cute okay so he did actually want children well that's perfect he's still not making it official guys should we make it official i kind of want him to ask though let me go ahead and take down the decor and then put up the winter decor <gasps> guys this house is gorgeous i got it from the gallery i think it's just beautiful and it looks so good when it's decorated oh, i absolutely love it i'm so so happy oh look at her she's so pregnant i'm so happy i love her little bump well she's gonna head off to class in like 10 minutes here i'm gonna go ahead and leave this current household update here as you guys can tell i'm still kind of going with my cozy play style even though she is you know playing with extreme violence a little bit and she does have a nefarious storyline going on. I'm still a cozy family simmer at heart. So that is Emma Linda's life. Please comment down below any thoughts or opinions or ideas that you may have. I love it when you guys comment and I read all of them. So please do. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Do consider joining the channel as a member and I will see Rue later. Bye guys. <laughs>